Hello, my name is Martin Boslett, and I want to present a tool to you that we are currently developing. It's about secure emails. Um, I'm pretty sure that everybody in this room is at least familiar with SSL apps and probably has also used it before. And this makes a lot of sense because it is a really helpful tool. It allows you to check web servers, your own web servers, or maybe your e-banking site. And the problem is, or not really a problem, it's restricted to HTTPS. So it's perfectly fine for web servers. But we thought, hey, why not have the same thing for email? Because right now, we don't have a good tool that allows us to check our email providers. And on top of just what SSL apps gives us, so TLS analysis, we also would like to look into the DNS record setup, because there are DNS records that are really um, critical for email security. Think of SPF, DKIM, DMARC, and so on. So what we want is a combination of basically SSL apps plus uh, something like MX Toolbox that allows you to look into the DNS record setup. And this tool should be able to talk all email relevant protocols, so for sending SMTP, for receiving POP and IMAP, and it should allow us to deal with either start TLS, so when you're upgrading an unencrypted connection, or if the services are uh, encrypted by default, this should all work out of the box. So in a, yeah, to, um, to summarize, we want an uh, all-in-one comfort tool for analyzing email security. We have developed a proof of concept for this, and the intention is to release this to the public as a tool uh, for free. It's implemented using open source software, so the backend is implemented in Rails 5, and all the front-end assets are um, managed by Gulp. Now, to say this up front, I know that there's a lot of criticism going on um, whether the CA system in general is secure, uh, if TLS is the perfect protocol. They're not, and we are not trying to fix this, so that's not our goal. We just want to give you a tool to, so you have the chance to analyze the features that are available today, and so you know you're using them correctly or you can see if there's any problems with them. Let's have a quick look at the tool. Um, it's a simple interface, much like SSL apps. You enter a host name, you specify the protocol that you want to test, and if you need something other than the default port, then you can also specify an additional port. And this is taken from the results page, so it's much like uh, what you would expect. We have a section for DNS. Um, here's an example with Dane records and uh, TLSA records, sorry. And you have a section for TLS, analyzing the TLS setup, the ciphers, and so on. So that's much of what you already know from SSL labs and as well as the certificates. So you have the server certificate chain, and it would tell you if this certificate is um, valid and so on. Now, we have developed this proof of concept, but we are now entering the next phase. We want to release this to the public, and um, we want to develop further features. One important feature uh, that we want to implement is we want to acknowledge the asynchronicity of emails, so we want to allow you to simply send an email to the service, and after the checks are done, it will reply to you with the result, and um, or a link including uh, uh, going out to the result page. Now, to see this through, we need more support. We need your support. Um, we also need funding. The proof of concept has been funded by the Ministry of Commerce, and this is a list of our current sponsors. But we would also really welcome anybody who wants to get involved with the project, so if you want to develop, or if you want to integrate this in your company somehow, if you um, are an email provider. Um, I would be happy if you talk to us after the presentation. We'll be around, hang around, so if we could spike your interest, then don't hesitate to talk to us, or if you want to, you can go to this website. This website uh, will um, contain any information about the release of the project, 
Or if you want to talk to us, if you want to support us, anything, if you want to ask us something, then please send an email to contact at email made in Lou. And that's it for me. Thank you.